it's Anya here and I'm back with another video for Ophelia Talks and today we are making this poncho here. Now I've called it the summer poncho because it's a fairly easy design but it's very effective when you wear it especially in the summer. During the day as a cardigan you can wear it as a beach cover-up and during the evening if it cools down a bit. It's the perfect summer poncho to take with you on holiday. The best thing about this poncho is that it is only made with two balls of yarn. And that includes the tassels. Not only will the tassels add length, they will also open up the weave of the fabric that we are creating for a stunning look. Let me show you what you need. So for this poncho I am using Wendy Supreme Cotton Love. It's a DK yarn and I have used two balls of it. So this yarn is 50% acrylic and 50% cotton so it's ideal for a wearable and it is prescribed for a 4mm hook. Now I usually for DK use my 35 so for me personally, I have gone up half a hook size. So I will be using the four for this poncho. So if you usually use a four, then you use a four and a half. So go up half a hook size to make this poncho. It will create a um, lighter and more relaxed fabric than what you usually create. Then we will also need, of course, a darning needle and some scissors. And then for the tassels, which I will show you at the end of the video, of course, you will need a bigger hook to help you attach them to the poncho, a bigger pair of scissors so you can easily cut the tassels all together, and some sort of measure that I have made from this piece of cardboard here now. Um, this happened to measure 17 centimeters or six and a half inches. So it, a revolution of 34 centimeters or 13 inches. And that's just about the length that I wanted to use for this poncho. So more about the tassels later, but now let me show you how to make the poncho. We have all the colours of this yarn on our website, so do go and check it out. So for the tutorial I will be using the colour linen, so that you can see what I'm doing. And also I will be making a smaller version of the poncho, so that I can easily show you in one viewfinder sort of area uh, how to construct this type of poncho. It's really easy but it just needs that little bit of understanding to see where you have the front and the back tip. So let's get started. So we are going to be making a chain and this chain has got to have a certain multiple. Now the stitch itself, the multiple for the stitch itself is four but if we want to make this neck opening larger or smaller, you have to take away with eight or add eight. So two clusters each time, because of course we are working with two sides of the poncho. So I am going to, for demonstration purposes, I'm going to chain 40, but for my poncho, and I have to say, neck openings do not vary that much. So for my poncho, I chained 128. So today I am going to be chaining 40. So let me show you. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now when you're making a neck opening starting with a chain, it is very important that you do not twist the chain because otherwise your fabric in the end will be twisted. So the way I go about doing this is the following. When I have 10 chains, I try and put the first chain on the back of my hook like so. 
then bring it all forward so you're back into position ready to start crocheting again. And then you just continue one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. So I now have 20 chains and so you're going to now continue until you have your 128 chains. I will be back when I have my 40 chains. I now have my 40 chains and as you will have your 128 it will be harder to see but for me I can tell that my chain is not twisted. Okay, so that is very important. We've done this little trick here so it will not twist. And what we do now is we take this loop and we pull it through the chain that's on our hook at the back. There we go. And we have closed our chain and we have not twisted our chain here. So this is very important because like I said it will bring you into trouble later on. So now we are going to get started straight away by doing the tip. So to create a tip we are going to do the following. So first of all of course because we are down on the level of our chain we need to do two chains and these two chains will count as the first double crochet of our cluster for our tip. So we just need to add another double crochet into that same stitch where that chain is coming out of. There we go to make our first cluster. And in this project we are using dainty clusters and you know on the channel we call two double crochets in the same location a dainty cluster. So really the whole poncho is built with dainty clusters. So for the corner we do a dainty cluster. Of course the first one is made up of two chains and a double crochet. Then we are going to do three chains. One two and three and then another dainty cluster in that same location here where you placed that previous double crochet and it's a little bit fiddly of course to start with but it's okay there we go so that's my two double crochets so this here now is my first tip. Now we are going to create a side, another tip and a side. Now don't worry about what this looks like here, we will sort that out in a moment. Now if you have done your 128 chains you are now going to make 15 clusters. So in a moment you will repeat what I'm going to repeating 15 times. Myself on the other hand in my sampler here I am going to be repeating it four times. So what we are doing is we are chaining three, one, two and three. Then we skip three, one, two and three and in the fourth one we are going to place a dainty cluster and a dainty cluster of course is two double crochets. There we go. Chain three, one, two, three, skip three, one, two, three, into the fourth one for a dainty cluster. So two double crochets. And you will have to do 15 of these clusters. So one, two and another 13. Okay, I am going to do another two. One, two and three. One, two, three into the fourth for my 
dainty cluster. So this is where I'm at now. Now I'm going to do a chain three, skip three, one, two, three, and this one here I am going to do as a corner, so or a tip. So the tip is made up of two double crochets, three chains, and in that same chain we are placing another dainty cluster. So this is what it's looking like now. So this one will be your front or your back tip. This goes over your shoulder and be the side of the poncho. This then will be another back or front tip and then here we have another side of the poncho. So you will have 15 clusters here before you then make your tip there. So when you start your next side, do your chains and then here make sure you don't miss this one as being your first chain. So one, two, three chains and into the fourth one for your first dainty cluster because of course we've placed a lot of um, stitches here so this one might have become a little bit smaller. So there we go and off we go again doing our three chains, skipping three, placing our dainty cluster into the fourth one. And I have one, two and three stitches left over, chains to skip. And then of course here this would be my fourth. So here now, so skip the two chains, go under this V and you do your slip stitch to close the round. There we go. And this is what your first round of your poncho should look like. But of course mine is smaller but this will make it a lot easier for you to see what it should be. So here we have the two tips and then here we each time have corresponding clusters. So you must make sure you have the same amount of clusters on each side of your poncho. So I have four, you should have 15. And then of course we are not counting the tips because these are going to be the tips on the front and the back. So now we are going to do a second round. And of course, this is the round that you will keep on repeating. So we ended in the wrong location. So I do a slip stitch to get to a better location again that's the wrong location. So you do another slip stitch. So two slip stitches to bring you to the corner or the tip chain space. Here you will then do the same as we did before. Two chains and a double crochet to make your first cluster. Then three chains and then two more double crochets into that same chain space. So this is the start of your round. This you will keep on repeating throughout the poncho. Then you're going to do three chains, one, two, three, and you go to the next chain three space there, and you're going to place a dainty cluster in there. Voila. Chain three, one, two, three, dainty cluster 
in the next chain space. And this is as simple as that. So all you will be doing is chain three, two double crochets around the chain three space. There we go. And then of course, when you get to the other tip, in there you will place a dainty cluster, three chains, and a dainty cluster. Voila. So really you're creating quite big holes, but that's the beauty of this poncho. There we go. And of course you'll come back on this side exactly the same, chain three, and you place a dainty cluster made up of two double crochets around the chain three space. And your sides, your rounds will get longer and longer depending on, of course, how many times you are repeating these. Depending on how many rounds you do, the bigger your poncho will be. So try it on and make sure it is the length and the size that you want it to be. One more here and I will be able to close my round. So one, two, three and you find that V here, so skip the two chains, go under this V and you do your slip stitch to close the round. And then you will be doing the same thing again, two slip stitches, make your corner and off you go again. And so if you look at it, this is what your poncho will look like. So this is your neck opening, this is your front, this is your back and then here is where your arms will be. I really should model it on Ophelia. <laughs> So this is where it looked a little bit funny when we started, remember? But that has sorted itself out. So if you sew this end in, make sure you do it really well so things here are very well attached. So that's sorted out. But there could be another possible problem with this poncho. So after a, quite a few rows, not straight away, and I will show you a picture here, I noticed that my tips were not aligning and they were a little bit twisted. So here, I'm now exaggerating because it's not doing this yet here, but after about 10 rows, you might notice that when you lay your poncho flat, these tips go outwards and they might be twisting themselves a bit. The reason is because we are working in one direction. We're going round this poncho in one direction and you have all got your own tension as well. So the way to stop this from happening is to do a few rounds in the other direction. So that's what I'm going to show you. So do you want to do this as standard and start doing your rounds in the other direction straight away? Or do you want to wait until you notice that you need to do this? Both are perfectly fine. I did mine when I noticed I needed to do this. And to be honest, I've got my poncho here. Because I'm using one color, because it's black maybe, you cannot tell that I have done some of these rounds this way and some of these rounds this way. So to me, it doesn't, it doesn't show. I can't tell where I have done this. So feel free to do it at a regular interval to avoid it going pointy or feel free to do it when you notice it. But once you notice it, you need to keep on doing it every so often, of course. So I noticed it, then I did a couple of rounds in the other direction, then I turned again in a couple of, for a couple of rounds, then I turned again for a couple of rounds and I just kept on doing that whenever I felt like it. So to get started, when you want to do a round in the other direction, so you've just come from here, closed with a slip stitch, now we're going to go 
back that way. You are going to turn your work like so. Hold your yarn in the same position. Just bring it to the back there. Then you do a slip stitch into the chain. This will now bring you to the correct position where you have to get started. And of course here we need to get started with doing a dainty cluster. So we're going to chain two and add a double crochet like so. So this is our dainty cluster. So now we continue with one, two, three chains and we go to the next chain space and we place our dainty cluster there. Chain three, one, two, three and really you're doing the same thing. So you are placing your dainty clusters around the chain spaces, creating chain spaces of three chains and then going on to the next one to do your dainty cluster. Make sure that you are placing your dainty clusters sort of in the middle of those chain spaces. So scoot them over a little bit if you need to. And of course, yes, we started with a normal dainty cluster, not a corner. So make sure that when you get here, you do your corner, but I'll show you that in a moment. And so here we are, we're doing a round in the different direction. And this will avoid your tip sort of leaning towards the other side and stop it from doing that little twist at the end there. And here, of course, I am doing my tip. continue on the other side. And then of course here uh, we need to still do this tip here before we close our round. Three and then we do another dainty cluster in there, chain three and here we are going for the slip stitch into that chain there. And now, of course, we are no longer near that corner here to get started, but you can do exactly the same thing and start here. So do your slip stitch into this chain. Get started here. And we have turned um, our direction again. And so you can just keep going like this, twisting and turning each time if you so need to, to avoid your uh, poncho, the tips getting twisted. So good luck. <laughs> and let me show you how big I made mine. This is where I am at now. I have done 27 rounds and I think my poncho is long enough. So 
I'm loving the look of it with the stitch and with the holes that we are creating. I think it's going to be a wonderful effect. So I have used a ball and a half. So this left over here, I am going to be using for the tassels. When I wear it, the poncho comes down to about my elbows, just like it is shown here on Charlotte. And I think that is long enough. The neck opening is 80 centimeters. From the shoulder to the elbows, it is 42 centimeters or 17 inches. And at the front, the middle of the neck opening down to the tip, it is 56 centimeters or 22 inches. So now we are ready for the tassels and we don't need to do an extra round or anything because we have these chains here and that is where we are going to adhere them to. So lay down your poncho so you know that you're going to be attaching your tassels all in the same way. Then I've got my measure here so whatever you can find I still have my chocolates box but I just got this piece of cardboard and I thought I might as well do this so this is 17 centimeters or six and a half inches but then a whole revolution is then double that so 13 inches or 34 centimeters so I'm going to wind it three four five six times so six full revolutions then cut off the yarn and then cut through your six strands. Then making sure that all the ends are sort of at the same level, not quite, but they are almost. <laughs> you hold the tassel so that the ends end at the same location. You've got the middle here. You take your poncho take your hook bring it through the chain space like so you're going to hook the strands behind the hook bring it through open up the loop there and bring your strands through and this way you will have that nice band of yarn laying towards the front there and of course, this is how you are going to continue all around your poncho. And of course, mine looks a little bit out of proportion, but the tassels will add quite a bit of length to your poncho. And they will also make sure that your fabric that you've created will hang out a bit so that the holes will get a little bit bigger and stand out a little bit more. So you will find that hanging up your poncho on a um, hanger for a little while or on a doll or mannequin or whatever or even just wearing it you will find that your fabric starts to extend a little bit and that your holes will become bigger and more prominent and of course that is what we are going for so look at that isn't it glorious <laughs>
So I hope you will try and make this poncho. I thought it was so simple but yet so effective. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video.